How different are males and females? Forget the parts that look different. Certainly our eyes, ears, and noses perceive things the same way. Or do they? Males and females may well perceive the world differently. That what a male's eyes and ears and nose and, and tongue and touch senses sense will be different than what a female does. Bruce Baker and his group at Stanford University studied a gene they discovered that triggers mating behavior in male flies. The elaborate mating ritual involves all the senses, from smell and taste to playing a courtship song. And what we found was that a subset of the cells in each of these sensory organs was, had this gene that functioned there in a male, but not in a female. As they wrote in the journal Nature, the scientists saw this difference by connecting the courtship gene to a gene that makes it glow in the dark. So we could then look throughout the body of the fly, in its sense organs, in its brain, and see where there were green fluorescent cells which told us which cells this gene was working in. The researchers say it goes to show that you can't assume that organs that look the same really are the same at the molecular level. These findings in flies certainly raise the interesting possibility that people might be like flies in the sense that the sense organs look the same, but in fact subsets of them function differently, but they might not. The only way to know that for sure is to investigate it in people. I'm Brad Closa.